So the wife wanted a blanket ladder and instead of buying one that's already made, decided to try to make it myself and I'll go ahead and just show you how to do it. Um, first off I bought two of these long sticks, eight foot pieces. They were the uh, two inch by two inch by eight foot. Cut two five foot pieces off. Well, cut a five foot piece off of each stick that we bought. So we bought two of the eight foot sticks. Cut five foot off of each stick, which is what we're gonna use for the legs. And then for the rungs of the ladder, we just took the two remaining three foot pieces and cut them in half. So that's what these are. And the uh, wood we used is the cheapest stuff. So it's got a lot of imperfections. Um, had to dig a while to find some that were fairly straight. And now, now we're going to go ahead and sand them up. We had Home Depot cut the pieces up. Um, they were just like $2 and some odd cents a stick. So now I'm going to go ahead and sand all the pieces up. Alright, all cleaned up, done sanding, move on to the next part. So even though these are marked 2 inch by 2 inch, they're actually under 1.5 inch by 1.5 inch. They're 1 and 3 eighths wide by 1 and 3 eighths wide. So, just so you know that. And I'm going to drill holes into uh, both ends of the rungs, just so they don't crack when I put this 3 inch black screw through the wood. And I'm going to also drill holes where the screw goes through the legs of the ladder into the rungs so it doesn't crack that either. I got a 764 drill bit and I got a 3 inch black screw for the uh, screws. So it's actually closer to 1 and 7 16 wide. So I'm going to just measure uh, in half would be 11 and a half 16 so. Eleven and a half sixteenths right there. Right. All right, so right there, there's the middle, and I'm going to drill a hole, and I'm going to mark everything else. All right, got all my center lines. Now I'm going to drill in maybe an inch. Doesn't need to be too far. I'm just going to go in an inch deep and then. Um, it's all good. So I also found it easier to take a, uh, a punch and then push down on the crosshair so that uh, the drilling goes quick and easy. Alright, so I'm going to make my first uh, rung 6 inches down, and then I'm going to make them 12 inches apart. So I'm going to go ahead and make those marks now. I'm just going to make the center mark for the rung 6 inches down, and then the center marks 12 inches apart.
I'm going to be drilling the holes all the way through on these here. So, be standing them up. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to use a punch to make sure I get it right on it. So here's the standing station that I've set up. I just put the screws into each end of the uh, ladder rungs and then uh, something on each end of that to put the screws on so that I can just spin these and stain them and let them sit. Uh, and this is the stain I got. I got the Dark Walnut uh, Men Wax brand. Just going to apply it per the instructions. So let's get started on that. Alright, gonna let it sit now. Alright, I let it sit for 10 minutes and now I'm gonna wipe it off. Alright, time to stain the legs and I put the, some screws in so I could hold on to them and not uh, get stained all over me. And let's do this. All right, time to take them down and wipe them off. All right, got them hung up from the garage door. Now they're gonna dry overnight. So here's how it looks, and this is the way I'm putting it together. So here's what I'm gonna do. To keep these from spinning, I'm gonna put a little bit of wood glue on the ends. Just a thin layer. I don't want it to squeeze out and make a mess, which might do anyway. Trying to make it as thin as possible. Yeah. A little bit too much. I'm going to wipe off the extra with a rag so I do not get any runs. Messed up.
So if I actually had a clamp wide enough, it'd probably be easier to set them all in place, glue them, and then put the screws in. Well, glue them, put the clamp on there, put the screws in, but I don't have that luxury. So this is a little more difficult. It's all screwed together. Uh, just some lessons learned using this cheap wood is that uh, it's not the same thickness all the way around so it might line up on one edge but completely be off on the other like this one this one you can see it sticking out on that edge but when you go to this side it uh, it's lined up almost perfect so and I gotta go touch up the stain maybe should have waited to stain until after putting it together now we're going to go touch up these because the cheap wood uh, screws countersink down in them. Down in it. I'm no master at this stuff and I don't have the right tools for the job so this is what we're getting. Got all the screw holes touched up. Um, now I'm just going to let it dry. Just use the small paintbrush to get inside those holes to touch them up. And then uh, once it's dried, then I'll go ahead and polyurethane it with it all together here. Yay, we're almost done. But, uh, got it all dusted off real good. Got my brush and my polyurethane that I'm going to put on. So, I'm going to put a layer on on this side, let it dry, flip it over, and then do the other side. Uh, this side is dry. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and put a coat on the uh, other side. Alright, got it flipped. Now I want to go ahead and uh, dust off this side and then go ahead and put my layer of polyurethane and then let it dry. let it dry see how it looks tomorrow so here's the finished product looks pretty good a lot better than what I was expecting um, there's a few spots that I didn't get coated as much as I wanted so I'm gonna give it a light sanding put another coat on the polyurethane and should be good well now I'd say I'm officially done And there it is all set up. So that was the last piece of the puzzle for this baby's room. Got a brand new baby coming in a few days. And we're all set up and ready to go. So a few lessons learned from this. Uh, I would recommend drilling the hole that goes through the leg of the ladder bigger. Uh, make it big enough to where it actually is the same. Or it, to where it's a little bit bigger than the threads of the screw so that the screw threads don't grab onto the leg and they actually only pull the rung of the uh, ladder towards the leg so that it holds it nice and tight. So the drill bit size that I would have would have used on the uh, legs is a 1364 in order to make it big enough to where the threads don't grab the legs and small enough to where the head um, doesn't go through the wood. I would also uh, make sure you got some clamps that are wide enough to go across the whole thing and then uh, before putting the screws in uh, all the way I would I would use the screws to just get the the rungs lined up center and everything 
but then clamp it with the glue uh, together, clamp all the rungs, and then uh, and then let the uh, let the clamps hold together while you screw the screws in, or you could let the clamps hold it together while the glue dries, and then after the glue dries, screw the screws in. But either way, uh, clamping it first before putting the the screws through it would be beneficial. And a drill press would be really nice because uh, then you can make sure that the holes that you drill are actually straight. Um, whereas the ones that I drilled were a little off, but everything worked out pretty good. Thanks for watching.